Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our presentation for ICGN 128 Climate Emergency, Biodiversity Crisis, and Humanity at Risk. Today, we proudly present you Think Fast. Let's meet our lovely members. Jing Shen and Radhima is the one who is responsible for script. Natui and Green Tea will be the presenter for today, and Subhatra is the one for doing the slides. And we all have contributed for Think Fast content as well. And here is our roadmap. First of all, I would like to discuss about objectives of Think Fast project. Secondly, what is fast fashion? Thirdly, the environmental impact of fast fashion and the opinions on the fast fashion that we have gathered. And the most important of all, the solution with Think Fast and the Think Fast idea for the sustainable fashion video. Now let's have a look at our objectives. The majority of our project is to spread awareness about impacts of fast fashion, as well as providing some possible way on how people can help save the world. Also, we would like to encourage people to be creative and be sufficient in using the resource. We hope to raise awareness of how fast fashion contributes to the global crisis and show that everyone can make the difference by their choice. What is fast fashion? Fast fashion is defined as a rapid manufacturing of trending clothing. In the other words, the changes in fashion are fast, the production of clothing is fast, and the purchasing decisions made by the customer are also fast. The clothing are usually worn just only a few times before being thrown away from the wardrobe. Which then resulted in the sea, or maybe even birds as a microplastic. You might start to wonder how humans actually contributed to the fast fashion. It seems so far away, I'm not buying that often. We have launched a short pilot survey about the fast fashion consumption behavior with 50 participants on our Instagram. Sadly, the majority of our participants have made unsustainable choices. Then we realized that it has to be changed, starting from the individual choices. When the customer are purchasing a trendy collections at a price they can't afford, their purchasing power increases. The demand of up-to-date clothing are rising. As fast fashion continues, it affects the planet even more. According to the United Nations Environmental Program, fast fashion industries have contributed 20% of world's waste water and 10% of carbon emission, which later cause greenhouse effect. How does it even affect human and biodiversity, you may ask? Well, it has affected human and biodiversity in many aspects. An example is in Bangladesh the second biggest clothing exporter globally. According to the CNN article, people who live near the garment industrial area in Bangladesh are being affected by water pollution. Some chemical were found in the waterways, such as acid, enzyme, bleach, formaldehyde, and carcinogenic chemicals, especially non ethanol epoxide and ethyl People say that water are turning pitch black due to the sludge and the seaweed produced by the textile industrial. There are no marine life at all. What is it suggesting? Well, people are losing environmental services, which was their right to have clean air and clean water. Some children are getting sick of this as well because they live near the place. A resident in Bangladesh told in that the people who wash their hands and faces in the water have experienced fever and skin irritation. Apart from this, ocean acidification is also a danger because it can endanger marine organisms and disrupt the food chain. They can lower commercial fishes and mollusks, and therefore we will have to pay more to get the same food source because of the prices increased. Also, a potential epidemic due to untreated water source can be a future problem as well. Apart from this biodiversity context, there are also some ethical issues that we are facing with the fast fashion. The child labor, underpaid workers, health and safety risk, toxic waste in the manufacturing area. What will happen if we do nothing? If we don't take any action, there will be a significant difference of the environment. The world you know will not be the world you know anymore. There are several key issues First and foremost, the greenhouse effect is going to be a serious problem as around 10% of the greenhouse gas emissions come from the fast fashion industry. 
Another contributing issue is about the water use. If fast fashion continues, it is predicted in 2030, the industry will be using 50% more water. Lastly, fast fashion vests will be one of the bigger problems to get rid of. Used clothes are thrown away and rather being donated or recycled. This has to be changed. Next up, going to we'll cover the solution part. And here is how we are gonna avoid fast fashion. Actually, there are several ways to solve this problem, and one of them is starting shopping from sustainable fashion brands. One of the best ways to ensure that your clothing choices are not harming the environment or people around you is by paying attention to where you shop. Besides, buy less often, but of higher quality and think before we buy are the keys. Fast fashion retailers now, they have convinced us more and more that we need to have the newest style in our clothes to be trendy. But do you know that those styles are usually crafted from cheap material which don't hold up and require us to buy more? So in order to fight fast fashion, think carefully and make some checklists before we buy new stuff. Moreover, donating or selling rarely used clothing is another easy way to practice. When you have outgrown your favorite pair of jeans or move away from a co clinic that makes you have more sweater than you need, give your clothes chance at a second life. Another great option for those who love to be a mediator can solve this issue by hosting a clothes slapping event. In addition to this, recycled textiles and garments are really helpful. Your old socks or torn jeans can be reused as material for neat clothes or be turned into insulation for houses. Similarly, repurposed old clothing also plays an important role here. Old t-shirts can become cleaning clothes, helping you end your reliance on paper towels. You can also even try making stuffed animal or dolls, t-shirt quilt, or scarves from items you already have at home. And lastly is spreading awareness through media platforms. In our project, we decided to use Instagram as a platform for promoting our ideas to reduce fast fashion by introducing the impacts of fast fashion and the possible solutions via posts and short videos. We see that Instagram is one of the most popular social media that more and more people these days pay attention to. We also created some short videos of approximately 30 seconds because we think that it will be easy for the audiences to understand our content of fast fashion in a very short time. The aim of the project is to spread contents about awareness of the impacts caused by fast fashion and for our solutions to slow down fashion. Contents like fast fashion bingo game, mix and match, and hashtag well won't buy helps first aged followers to remake their styles using all clothes. And these are our four solutions. <laughs> To sum up, fast 
satisfaction is undesirable and will eventually lead to some irreversible effects on our environment. As individuals, we can take this stand with our money, support sustainable markets, slow down fast fashion, and love the clothes that we have. We are all in this together and we can all help to solve the problem of fast fashion. So, let's protect our environment through our own actions together. Thank you so much for watching.